Welcome to the Q&A session for the dentistry students of Theo Cardinal Herrera University. We're coming to you live from the clinics, the new clinics of the university, and uh, we wanted to take this opportunity to go through some of the questions that you've been sending us. Uh, and uh, the people who are going to be answering your questions are myself, Chirag Chef, who is the coordinator of first and second year of dentistry, and uh, Dr. Katharina Lavin, who's going to, who is the coordinator of third, fourth, and fifth year, and so we'll be taking in turns to answer your questions. So I'd like to start with uh, Katalavin, please, go ahead. Uh, so the first question is, when does the course begin in September? And our course usually starts at the first week of September. And the, this year, the welcome day for the international students will be on the 5th of September. All right, so the second question, thank you very much. The second question comes to us from Faria from Sudan. Thank you, Faria, for your question. And your question is, what are the subjects studied in the first year and how are they assessed? Well, generally speaking, in the first year, we deal with very basic subjects to bring all the students up to the same level. We talk about the subjects like biology, biochemistry, anatomy, physiology, uh, statistics, etc. Uh, the assessment methods are in line with the European framework where we have a continuous assessment section and a final exam. So some of the marks you'll carry with you into the final exam. Uh, and so it's a combination of these two factors. So thanks for your question, Faria. Uh, for full details, you can look at the list of uh, subjects on the university website. Through the main website, you can go and click through to dentistry and you have the list by list of all the academic years. So the next question, please. For we have from Steve. And Steve asked us uh, how many students are there in a year and where are they usually from and what are the proportion of nationality. This is depends year by year. So uh, the number of students differs slightly uh, every year. Uh, and usually around 100 students we receive from every uh, continent. We have students from Canada, uh, all around Europe, uh, Asia, Taiwan, from many, many different parts of the world. Right, thanks very much. The same person asks another couple of questions, so bear with us. So the next question is, what are the proportion of subject failures in the first year? This is a difficult question to answer. Uh, it varies by year and it varies by the different student type. I can't give you a number about how many people fail the first year. I can give you uh, statistics about uh, what happens if you fail the module. And in this case, you always have two opportunities in any academic year to pass your subject. So you'll have the main exams and then you'll have the retake exams. Uh, how, what percentage of students successfully graduate in five years? Well, we have, we're very proud to boast a graduation percentage of well over 95%. So that is to say the majority, 90 to 95% of the students graduate within the five years of the degree program. A very small number uh, actually end up having to come back afterwards. So we have this question from Steph about whether there are any scholarships available. Well, I'm happy to say, Steph, that there are scholarships available. We have a system within this university known as Matricula de Honor, where students who are high achievers, finishing within the top 10 or top uh, 2 or 3% of their class, are entitled or may receive a, an award known as Matricula de Honor. What this does is that it grants you a discount in the equivalent number of credits as the subject that you've just taken in the following year's registration. So look out for the Matricula de Honor. Other scholarships available include collaboration scholarships where you, um, as a student, would work together with some of the services within the university and receive a small stipend for your, serv uh, for your services and for your time. And so there's a number of different ways in which you can earn money or can gain uh, s uh, some money whilst you're at the university. And uh, I encourage you to please look online through the university website to find this information in greater detail. Kata. And the last question from Steve is, what recommend preparation should be done before arriving in, at the university? Uh, the first and the, it's very important you want to, to study abroad, to so have curiosity about knowing and uh, knowing more people around uh, the world. Uh, would, I would recommend uh, to speak Spanish, to start your uh, learning in Spanish and uh, look for accommodations. Well, thank you very much, Kata. I think the next question is yours as well. It's Dipesh from London asking you a question. What do you have to say? Uh, when do you start the protocols uh, with patients and models? And when you start uh, treating patients? So in our university, 
Uh, the two first years are very theoretical because we need a good preparation so you can treat p a real patients. In the third year, we are going to start with uh, the first visits, scaling, uh, prophylaxis, and uh, the third year student uh, will also start uh, collaborating with some extraction and small surgeries. They also uh, can be with the master students where he can uh, witness uh, big surgeries uh, with the, the master students, uh, including implant treatments. Right, thanks very much. Uh, I think actually you have even one more. You have the last question for Kata today. Uh, it's Celine from France. And Celine from France asks, do the teachers hand out duplicated uh, copies of the lessons? Yeah, our, all our students has, um, has access to the, our web, uh, our internet, university internet, where all the, the classes are uploaded. Some professors, they also give him